Hello everybody. Today for my supper in my instant pot, I'm gonna make a kabasi, pierogi, corn cob, and vegetable casserole. With some garlic of course. It's gonna be so good. And easy. It's about the easiest thing you can do. Well, a lot of things are easy with your pressure cooker. I'm using the instant pot today. I might have mentioned that already. First I'm gonna cut up my onions and well I'm using one onion because I only have one big 14 ounce piece of Polish kielbasa, or kielbasi, however you say it. Let's cut up this onion and pepper first, okay? Just cut these up however you like. However you like. Nothing fancy here. It's gonna taste fancy. Right, Nancy? Schmancy. Just be safe with your knife. You know that. I'm gonna put these right in the bottom. Get them out of the way. And work on this pepper. I'm take the price tag off. Why do they do that, hmm? Whatever that is. Barcode. Code, code. Rinse that off. Cut that up a little bit. Cut the end off. What have you like? Get them seeds out in the sink. Unless you like the seeds. Can if you want. And cut this however you like it. Strips, slices, shapes, diced, cubed, little pieces. Did I cut them? Oop. See how easy it is? Even I can do it. That has a good aroma. Put that in. Get it out of the way. Okay. Going in. It does smell good. It smells like roasted already. I don't know. It reminds me of that. Let me rinse off my cutting board. And my knife. Now I have frozen corn on the cob. See that? Now since it's, this is summertime, well today it is, but by the time you watch this it might be winter. But you can take your fresh corn on the cobs and put them in there, but frozen's good. I think you're looking. Come here. Come here, look inside. Oh! Holy! What do you do when you spill two pepper mills? And grind them over your shoulders? Yep. Good luck. <laughs> See that? Is that too much glare? Yeah, okay. You get the idea. Throw in my frozen pack of mini pierogies. Mrs. T. It's me, it's me, it's Mrs. T. These big pierogies. These little pierogies. Cabasa. Now, like I said, this is frozen as well, but it falls out pretty quickly. Here it is. Make room. Now, I could put this in like that, but I think I want to cut it into pieces, even though it's frozen. I have a real sharp knife. Well, it's not too frozen anymore, but it really is. You can take the casing off too if you like. But sometimes we like that snap, you know? See? Whatever you like. It'll come off easy at the end. Plus, it's going to be real tender after the pressure. And I'm going seven minutes. Then it's going to be perfect. You could double this recipe. Put them in. Oh, yeah! Can we fall out? Nope. My chopped garlic, I have real garlic, or cloves, but this is the easiest way for me right now, since I'm in a hurry. And that's why we use the pressure cooker, because it makes everything easier. Look at that menagerie. Lots of garlic. Want some more? I want some more. That's handy and convenient. I'm going to put two cups of water. 
to start with. That's going to be enough. Two cups. I don't want to rinse off all my garlic, so I'm just pouring it down the side. Then I'm just going to put some salt and pepper on top. That's why I waited to the end for that, so I didn't rinse it off with the water. Grind up pepper. And that's that. And this is going to be, in seven minutes, did I say that? Seven minutes. This is going to be the best kielbasa, pierogi, corn and cob, red pepper and onion casserole. Did you see it? Hey! <laughs> All right, let's put on the magical tinkling lid that we all love. Tinkle, tinkle. All right. Make sure you're in pressure mode on your lid up here, sealing or pressure, however it's labeled on your pressure cooker. You can do this in any pressure cooker, so it's not specific to the Instant Pot. I'm going from manual, I want seven minutes. Okay. And the pressure will build up and start counting down. It's gonna be good. You know it is. There we go. I'll be back. Time's almost up. It smells good in here. There it is. All right. Wasn't that easy? Let's let this pressure out. Thank you. I'll be back when the pressure's completely out. All right. Tinkle, tinkle. Ah. Oh. That's so good. You gotta see this. Here, come up and look inside. Oh, too bad you can't smell it. <laughs> look at the garlic. Them pierogies look like little ears. <laughs> I'm gonna eat them little ears. All right, well, let me serve this up. You could put a big platter, a nice bowl. You could put it individually in your bowls. I think I'm gonna platter it up. Take out the yarn on the yob. I'll show you. Hang on. Whoa, look. I did a good job plating it up for you. Let me get a better shot here. You want some, don't you? Mm hmm. Tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> oh, wait. I want to get some, uh, some juice out of there. Get a little juice. There's still a bunch more pierogies in there. Look, see, there's a lot of pierogies in there. But I'm gonna pour the juice around. Look at the onions, look at the garlic in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's about eight or nine more pierogies in there. And, a little bit of butter, you stay in there. That's all right, wherever you wanna go, you can go. Lots of butter. I'd like you to stay up there. Oh, I'll roll you around. Oh, yeah. Here's my delicious meal, a little more pepper on top, because I like it. Gives it a nice little color too. But you can put anything you like on here. I'm just gonna taste a piece of this kielbasa, because I have to. Look at this. See everything on there? See how the casing got? It's gonna be nice. Pierogies, corn cob. Mmm. That has a delicious smoky flavor. Okay, I can't wait to eat all these, but... So you see how easy it is to make a delicious gourmet meal in a pressure cooker. Whatever brand you have. Can I use the Instant Pot? You know that. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to enjoy this for my supper. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon.